I'm Cape Joel, and this is Comic Smack, the weekly comic show where we take closer, more in-depth looks at the coolest and most happening events going on in the world of comics. And on today's show, we're going to be taking a closer look at Mockingbird, issue number one. What does the future hold for Bobby the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Well, let's hop on in and find out for ourselves, shall we? So, as the comic opened, Agent Bobby Morse, aka Mockingbird, is making her way to a secret underground S.H.I.E.L.D. medical facility. She's mad, she's driven, she's all fire and brimstone, and she ends up smashing up a window to reveal a bunch of white aging zombies, um, okay? Before you had my interest, now you have my attention. It would seem because Bobby has both the Super Soldier Serum and the Infinity Formula, that's the thing keeping Nick Fury alive pumping through her veins, coming to this medical facility is kind of a normal thing for her. Oftentimes, they'll just call her away from a mission to come and get checked up on, which as you can imagine is kind of annoying having to go through this so often. Hey, we're gonna need a hair sample and a urine sample. How paranoid are you feeling right now? What about bloody ear discharge? Are you having any bloody ear discharge you wanna talk about? Any latent psychic powers? Actually, the latent psychic powers thing isn't even a joke. S.H.I.E.L.D. makes uh, Bobby meet with a parapsychologist to test any of her possible mental abilities. Needless to say, she freaking hates it. And honestly, from there, things just start to get weirder and weirder. It's clear some higher-ups are actually watching Bobby's progress and are interested to see what happens. Her nurses also keep disappearing, saying they've gone to Tahiti, which if you watch the S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show, you know that that's code for something not so good. It's also probably important to note that this is actually a comedy book, or at least something of a comedy book. The medical facility itself is really funny. There's a bunch of great sight gags of all the different heroes who come here looking for help, and that there's always funny music playing in the back. Ground. As the book winds down, Bobby decides that she has just had enough of this runaround and decides to kick in the door to the parapsychologist's office, smashing the two-way glass behind him. Only when she does, there's no white zombies there. There's scared doctors, but the zombies seem to exist in her mind, meaning that she doesn't actually have psychic powers, she has symptoms. And that's where the comic ends. So I reviewed the Mockingbird one-shot that was part of the S.H.I.E.L.D. 50th anniversary line, and I wasn't exactly exactly the biggest fan of it. That being said, I freaking loved this first issue. I know kinda quirky comedy takes on your favorite superheroes are becoming more and more common at Marvel, but I gotta say, this Mockingbird book does a good job differentiating it from self like, you know, Miss Marvel or Squirrel Girl, mainly by being more, you know, uh, pointed at adults, if you can believe it. Mockingbird makes jokes about medical marijuana and how these constant medical checkups are ruining peeing in a cup for her, which I found to be really, really funny. This is all helped out by some great expressions of artwork that I really enjoyed. I don't know if I plan to keep up with this book week to week, but they definitely look to be building an interesting kind of mystery. So if you're a fan of the character or uh, just a fan of fun comics in general, I would say give this one a shot. I give it an 8 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll feel like checking out some more videos I have on offer here at Cape Jewel.